Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use and convert between fractions and decimals on the Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. If you don't have one of these calculators but would like one, check the link in the description below. To do this, we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here the menu setup key that looks like this located here the fraction key that looks like this located here and the s to d or conversion key that looks like this located here on this calculator when we enter something like 1 divided by 2 and hit exe we see we get a result in decimals, so we would get 0 0.5. What if we wanted that as a fraction? To do that, we can press the S to D or conversion key. So we press that, and our 0 0.5 has been converted to 1 over 2, or a fraction. We can press it again to go back to the decimal. But what if we're given numbers as a fraction and want to enter them that way as part of an equation? Say 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4 equals. Well, to do that, we use the fraction key. And we see here two boxes. Our first number is 1 over 2. So for the top box, we press 1, scroll down to the bottom box, and then enter 2 there, and then scroll to the right out of our fraction. Then we go plus 3 over 4, so again, the fraction. There's our two boxes, 3, scroll down, 4. Now we can hit the exe, or equals, and we see we get 1 over 2, plus 3 over 4 is equal to 5 over 4. And if we want to convert that, we can use the S to D key to convert that to 1.25. What if we have mixed numbers, like for example, 1 and 1 quarter plus 1 and 1 half? We can enter that by using the shift function of the fraction key, which is by pressing shift and then the fraction key there. So if we wanted to enter this, we can start by entering the one and then we press shift fraction. And again, we see we get our two boxes. And then in the top box, we enter the one, scroll down, enter the four and scroll out and then plus, 1 and 1 over 2, so again, 1, shift, fraction, 1, the top box, scroll down, the 2, and hit exe. And we get 11 over 4, which we convert with the S to D key to get 2.75. Or can convert back to 11 over 4. But what if we want our result as a mixed number instead of a 11 over 4 improper fraction? To do that, we use the shift function of the STD or conversion key. So if we have our 11 over 4 already, all we need to do is press shift STD, and we see that converts to 2 and 3 quarters. And then if we press shift s to d again, it converts back to 11 over 4. And again, if we press it again, we can get that as a decimal. As we've seen, this calculator defaults to an improper fraction when converting. So if we have 11 divided by 4, we get 2.75 and it converts to 11 over 4. But what if we want that to default to our mixed number fraction? 
To do that, we press Shift Menu to bring up this menu here. And then scroll down to Track Results. We see it says D over C, which symbolizes the improper fractions. And down at the bottom, we can choose between improper and mixed fractions. If we want to change our results to get mixed fractions, we can choose A, B over C with the F2 here. We see that's changed. And now if we exit out of here and go 11 divided by 4 EXE or equals, first we get that decimal. And if we convert it, we see we get 2 and 3 quarters or a mixed number. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.